Welcome back everybody. As we finish designing and animating our speaker, it's time to get it out of Piskel and into Snap, which is a process with a few steps that you'll need to learn along the way, so pay attention. First things first, you'll need to click on Export, as I just did. Then, we're going to download this as a GIF, which is the first option available. With this downloaded, it's time to find it using our Finder, and then open up Photoshop because that's where we'll be opening this file to get it ready for snap. With the file located and Photoshop open, all that I need to do is drag and drop it into Photoshop. Now, on the right-hand side, you'll see a list of layers. Each of these layers represents one frame of our animation. We can turn these layers on and off by clicking on the box to the left of the image of our artwork. So what we will be doing is turning these images on and off one at a time, and then saving each frame of our animation out as its own image. Now, some of the settings that we need to use here are very important, so pay close attention. The most important setting coming up is making sure that when we save this, we save it as a PNG. Because if we save it as a Photoshop document, Snap won't know how to use it. And if we save it as something else, like a JPEG, all of our transparent background will become a white square. So instead of just having a nice clean animation, you'll have your animation but it will be surrounded by a white box, which really isn't what we want. So, to begin this process, we go up to File, and then Save As. In our Save As menu, first, we'll go to the file format, and change it, as we just discussed, to PNG. Then, I'll make sure that I know where I'm actually saving these. I'm just putting this one on the desktop. Or, if you want to let it go to the default location, just make sure you know where that is. And then, give it a name. I'll just call this Speaker 1, and I'm going to repeat this process with all six frames of my animation. So I'll have Speaker 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and then all that's left is to get those images into Snap. So let's speed this up a little bit. Save as, PNG, change the name and location, and repeat. Now we find our list of files, and we open Snap. Making sure that we have a sprite selected, and that we're in that Sprite's Costumes tab, we can just drag our new costumes over, and there they are in a list. Now you'll want to double check that these are in the right order, and once they are in the right order, to get this animating the simplest way is to just use a little piece of code that we've already done once before. So first, to get this animated right when the game starts, I'll bring out the when green flag clicked, meaning when the game starts, this will happen. Then, for the looks, I'll bring out the switch to next costume block. And I need to put a little bit of a delay in here, because without a delay, it's going to work insanely fast and not really look very good. Put that inside of a forever, and then we can play our animation. Now, how long the delay is will determine how many frames per second we see. So play around with the delay until your animation looks smooth and as good as it can. Once your speaker is animated, don't forget to save along the way, and then share your project with us in the comments on Schoology. Alright, good luck and have fun!